Welcome to Groovy Programming for Beginners. As part of this tutorial series, I will teach you how to program using Groovy. In this video, we will see how to install Groovy and also the features of Groovy. Groovy is powerful and optionally typed. Groovy is really powerful and it has dynamic nature. For example, optionally typed meaning when we declare a variable we don't have to declare the type of the variable you can declare it or you also can avoid declaring the type that's called as optionally typed groovy is aimed at developer productivity for example groovy has a lot of shorthand syntaxes which can help developers to write their code fast otherwise write less and do more kind of stuff groovy also has scripting capabilities which can be used in different aspects for example we can use groovy in devops mainly in jenkins for uh, developing our pipeline jobs using code and finally it also has a support for domain specific language Especially in Jenkins, we use Groovy for developing pipeline jobs, but it is not direct Groovy syntax. It is a language specific to Jenkins and underlying the main engine is Groovy. To get started with Groovy, first we need to install Java, I mean JDK in this case, followed by Groovy. Groovy is a language which is derived from Java. Groovy runs on Java virtual machine. So having Java is mandatory in order to work with Groovy. For installing Groovy and JDK on Macbook, you have to follow the instructions I am presenting on the screen. On my laptop, both of them already installed. So I want to create a folder to keep all of our examples. Let's call it Groovy Examples. Let's write our first Hello World program. Usually the extensions of Groovy scripts is .groovy and file names could be anything you like. So that's our first instruction in Groovy. println is a function which takes a message and prints that back to the console when we execute that script. Use Groovy followed by the script name and we see that message back on the console. So in this case, the parentheses uh, optional. I can remove parentheses, my function name followed by space followed by the arguments to the function. Even that syntax pretty much works in Groovy. And one more thing I want to highlight is I said Groovy is optionally typed, which is nothing but when we declare a variable like this, Declaring type is optional. This is valid. I can explicitly define type of my variable. Even this is valid. I'm not declaring the type. So both the syntaxes are valid. That's why we are calling it optionally typed. Let's say I want to use that variable inside my string. I can use a string interpolations. I'll cover more about string interpolations in upcoming video. Let me see that it says welcome to Groovy and the value of the variable we declared there, right? It's 10. So that's all from 
the first video of Groovy programming. We'll see more and more concepts in upcoming video.